Okay, so this video, I wanted to do it based on this article. It's very good. It is um, based on the Department of Transportation and other organizations that have a uh, National Highway and Traffic Safety Administration. So it's a long word, but I think that, you know, this is coming out of the DOT. So uh, it is an article that is useful for all of us. So I will leave the link down below so you can look at it because it's just chuck full. It really is. So it has two videos on the front page right away, and it's about driving safely for drivers, so that also helps us. Um, so the know the basics, pedestrian safety, so it has a list for that. Uh, walk, eight walk, walking safety tips and the last one I think you can ignore it number eight embrace walking as a healthy form of transportation <laughs> so that one you can skip <laughs> but one through seven I think are useful just replace the word walk with wheelchair usage <laughs> so the second pedestrian uh, video is about bystander care and this is when there's been an accident. Um, just because you're in a wheelchair does not mean that what you observed is not important. So my, uh, if it hasn't been you and you saw something happen like an accident on the road, um, please stay, don't go away. Please stay until the police officer arrives and you can give them your um, your uh, view of what happened. So that's really important because these cases a lot of times go to court. So what you saw is really important. Finding and creating uh, wheelchair communities. So what, you know, drivable wheelchair communities. So that's really important when you're looking for a home, you're looking for a place to live either whether it's a, an apartment or a group home or a nursing home, you want that to kind of be available. So it has a residence guide uh, for creating safe and, and drivable, wheelchair drivable communities, uh, wheelchair uh, uh, driving uh, checklist. So there's that. So just replace the word walkability with wheelchair use. Um, we are considered pedestrians, so we need to follow all the rules and regulations of pedestrians. So it's kid, it, the next one is keeping your kids safe while they are in their wheelchairs. So that is another list for parents, and it has all kinds of links and information for you. Uh, walking or using your wheelchair safely and staying <laughs> Staying fit as you age. <laughs> I guess we can try to stay safe when we are home and practice our stretching. <laughs> safety advocates. So we do have safety advocates that are around. Um, there are uh, safety officers in parking lots that are making sure that people are parked correctly and especially not using uh, disabled parking spots. <laughs> So know that you're being watched, you're being observed, you're being observed by us, you're being observed by <coughs> the safety advocates, the safety officers, and sometimes even police officers that are hanging around uh, the parking lots when there has been a lot of problems of people parking in disabled parking spots. So know that you are being watched. Um, so this document, uh, is really chock full of information. I would suggest that anyone, anyone uh, go through this document. Uh, it's very long, uh, but I think it's, it's worth it. So, um, so uh, do that when you have a chance. Click on the links that are most important to you. Uh, the numbers and statistics are on there, so it, it is a great document to have available. Uh, and learn all about uh, tricks and tips of being on the road with your wheelchair. 
Um, the other part I wanted to add to this uh, video is encounters with the police. I know that race matters. Unfortunately, right now, race matters. So it's not the same for me to go be going down the street with my wheelchair versus an African-American or an Asian person or, or Hispanic uh, background person with their wheelchair. It is different unfortunately. However, I have some tips that I can give you so that that encounter is, doesn't get rough or out of hand. So one of the things, if you encounter a police officer and it looks like he's going to stop to ask you some questions, you know, put both hands on your lap and that's it. Just be really relaxed. Put your hands on your lap. Uh, don't move. Be calm um, the more nervous you get, the police officer will also get nervous and think that you're up to something. So, <laughs> so really, uh, just really relax and answer the questions, yes sir, no sir, and things should be okay. So if you start being combative with the officer, then things are going to escalate. Uh, the officer doesn't appreciate that. They have a tough job already and um, they get nervous very quickly so, and know that they are armed, so we are not for the most part. So keep your hands on your lap at all times. Um, the other thing is that if you have been a witness of a robbery, injury, accident, uh, stay on the scene, please. When the officers get there, then they can come and ask you what you saw. So though that is really important because these cases usually go to court. Accidents, robberies, you know, anything like that. And your, <coughs> your information is important. I know you might say, oh, <coughs> I'm in a wheelchair, it doesn't matter, you know, what I have to say, but it does. <coughs> You're a citizen, uh, you know, you are you were there and and you saw something a little something <coughs> you know once i was in a parking lot i was going towards the grocery store and this guy just ran out of the grocery store and just passed me like a bat out of you know what and the police <laughs> Police officer arrived. I was already in the entrance of the store, but he asked me, did I see anything? And so I said, yes, but I was in the parking lot. So he asked me, what did you see? So I said, I only saw this guy running out of the store um, and dropping objects of some kind. So I could give a, a light description of the individual and that helped the officer, you know, add some description of the guy <coughs> and what I saw later, which, you know, was one of the poor uh, people in the, one of the employees running after him. <laughs> but that's all I saw. But still, that helps the police officer fill in his report. Because you've got to remember, the officers come afterwards and they haven't seen anything. So any pieces, bits and pieces that they can get from the citizens or the people that were there, even if you were in a wheelchair, helps the officer fill in the blanks. So that's what I'm recommending. Uh, you can think about how you feel about that and, and you know, what you want to do uh, when incidences happen around you or near you. So again, if you're talking to an officer, put your hands on your lap and be relaxed, and the officer is going to do the same. If you're jittery and you're nervous, and you know, <laughs> the officer is going to get uptight too. So just know that uh, for sure. So any questions you might have about encountering a police officer, I know there's a video that I found. Uh, I was looking for it actually. Uh, that is uh, recommendations of a police officer to wheelchair users. And it was a pretty good one, but it was a while back when I saw it and I wasn't on YouTube. So I will look for that one and find the link and put it down in the description in this video. So 
Um, I'm hoping this was useful and feel free to look over this document because it has so much in it, so many links that uh, I'm hoping it'll be helpful for you. And again, lights, a flag, you know, um, little stickers that are reflective will, will help in any, any way when you're on the road. If you would like to help this channel, feel free to give it a like, um, comment, share, and subscribe if you feel like you want to come back and, and look at other videos. There's a lot to watch. <laughs> so, um, but thank you again. Don't forget to vote. Um, I will, the, the link for um, signing up for voting in the United States, you have to be a citizen, um, is down below in the description box. All right, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.